Good morning, hockey family. Etienne from Field Hockey Education. In today's coaching video, we'll be doing a nice little passing drill. This passing drill, you only need four players per group, and it's a nice little drill that you can do to lead off another one to create space, get the ball, and then actually using that player that you lead it off from and pass to him so that they can go forward. But it's a nice little drill um, that you can do with your team and there's progressions going forward. You're putting in more of a dummy passes in and then you put some defenders in so they can t uh, learn how to use that leading off each other to make space with actually defenders defending them. So it's a nice little passing drill that you can do with your team before training session or even pre-season, during the season, any type, anywhere you want to do it, you can do it with this passing drill. So thank you for watching this video and uh, let's go. If you are not subscribed yet, please click that little icon in the bottom corner. Please like this video because it shows the support towards my channel. Thank you for all the support so far in this channel. I really do appreciate it and enjoy the next video. So with this nice little passing drill, you can uh, set up like this, you can set up the same uh, group down the line to practice the same stuff if you have more than um, four players in your team. But how it would start is player one will start with the ball, player two and player three will lead towards the ball. So these two in the middle are working together, they will lead towards the ball. Player one will then pass the ball to player two, where they will receive. As soon as the ball is being played, player three will then lead into this direction over there. Player two will then receive to open or close, and then they will pass the ball to player three, that's receiving the ball and then passing back to player four. If they're done with this one, they'll start again where they lead towards player four. But now player three will now receive the ball with player two leading away and off player three so they can make space for player three to pass to them. So with the progression that you can do with this drill after they got used to the main drill and they obviously switch between the two that's outside is they will start again exactly the same they will lead towards now player one will pass the ball to player two player three is still in this area player two will receive dummy pass towards player three so dummying so that they can make more space for player three after that dummy player three will then make a lead player two will pass back to player one as soon as that happens player two will then make a lead into this space where they made the dummy pass they will receive the ball back from player one they will receive it and then with all of this being done, player three will be in a nice space for them to pass to player three. Player three will receive and then pass to player four. As soon as that is done, two of them start again. It's exactly the same. Both of them will go towards player four. Player three will receive the ball dummy to player two so they can make more space for them to run into afterwards. Pass the ball back to player four with player two making a lead into this space here, player three receiving it again, and then passing the ball to player two.
With progression number two, after they're done with progression number one, is exactly the same. Play two will lead towards, play three will lead towards. Player one will pass the ball to player two, they will receive. As soon as this happens, player three is going to lead away. Player two is going to dummy pass towards player three once again. So they're going to dummy, still keeping the ball, and then pass it back to player one. As soon as that ball goes back to player one from player two, player two is going to lead away from that with player three making a massive lead towards player one where player one will pass them the ball now receiving it and then passing to player two where they will receive it and passing to player four so it's a nice way of just leading into the space to get the ball then out so they can make that space that they made they can actually lead into that space with player three leading towards the ball. So as you can see, player three is actually giving the space for player two to receive and go forward. So with the final progression of this passing draw is now you will have two defenders and you can have a bigger area for them to play in. But it's exactly, basically now player two and three need to use the stuff that they did in the previous rounds to get past this defender. So they need to obviously move towards um, player one. They receive it, so obviously the defender will follow. Now they're passing it back and then they will lead out for the next player to lead in. So they need to use everything that they learned in the previous one to get the ball from this side to that side without the defenders um, getting it. And then obviously the defenders, their goal is to try and um, force the attacking players into a situation where they can't make the pass back or they can't make that lead into this gap to receive it. Um, so they also train ways of defending um, in this little drill as well. So that was the nice little passing drill that you can do with your team. As you can see, there's a lot of progression that you can put in. You, as a coach, you can put more plays in if you really want to. This is just a nice little base that you can start off and you can go forward from uh, thank you for watching this video i really do appreciate it thank you for all the support so far in this channel i really do appreciate it see you next time bye bye